Well, for a lot of other people, they ask you to leave a comment because it helps their video ranking. But I like to do this weird thing where I ask you to leave a comment because I actually like to help. And that's what we're gonna do today. So yesterday, I got a comment on my advanced animation video from FBI. He said, Steve, thanks man, great video. I'm trying to make this effect, but I can't figure out how to pull it off. Now what he's trying to do is there's an effect that was shown in Apple's last keynote. Now, this is what it looks like. I will beg for forgiveness for the PR gods at Apple for letting me show this brief little clip. Hope that they let me get away with it because it's in services of actually trying to explain one of their products. But he said, how can I make that effect transition where there's one iPhone and then two more sort of pop out and appear from the back? Now, it turns out that since there's a great hurricane coming through New York City today, which explains the wonderful dark lighting and sort of harsh side light that we've got happening here because it's gray and horrible looking outside, I wanna take the time to explain this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna understand how layers are gonna be able to let you make this animation really simply. Because like a lot of the things that we talk about on here, it's simple, it's powerful, it's gonna make you look really good. So let's get into it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the hurricane edition of The Crazy One. As always, I'm your host, Steve Gates, and this is the YouTube channel and podcast that helps you be creative, help you be a better leader, have a better career, and do some cool stuff like today to be able to find out about how to do some different things with your favorite applications. Now, as always, if you like this content, if you wanna make sure that you see whenever more of this comes out, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so that YouTube will tell you whenever I release a new video. But what we're gonna talk about today is layering, which is basically, we've got into this a little bit in some of the other advanced animation videos, but essentially just how do we use the way that we stack images to be able to create some advanced effects. Now, what we're gonna look at today is that one from the Apple Keynote where they sort of have the one phone and then magically it looks like the other two appear. Honestly, whenever we break this down, you're gonna see this is super easy to do. It's just three elements and it just comes down to understanding probably just one or two really simple things to see how we can pull that off. So again, enough talking, let's get into Keynote and actually see how we can get this done. Okay, so before we jump right into Keynote, Let's just sort of look at a simple breakdown of what we saw going on in that video. And what we saw was that there was one phone, so it's the red one here, with a title. And then what happened there was that that then transitioned where these other two phones popped out. Now, building that is going to actually be a lot simpler than you think. Because what we need to do is to understand Z-depth. And what that means, let me show it this way is so if we are gonna be able to work with these three images, the red phone, the one you see first, the yellow and blue one that are behind it, all that's happening is that these are three images that are sitting right on top of each other. Which means that whenever you actually look at this, the red phone is hiding that there are two more behind it. And that all we're gonna do is to use magic move to be able to make those pop out. So let's pop out of this and let's go back to this animation. So here we have the first, one that we have here, this first animation, where, so this is gonna be the phone, but here again, what you don't see is what makes the difference. So if I slide this out of the way, you can see how these other images are sitting there really just sort of hiding behind it. So let's put Humpty Dumpty back together again, so that what happens is then whenever I go here, I'm gonna do two things. The first is I'm gonna use Magic Move to disappear this title, because that title is not in this slide, which means it's going to fade out. But then all that it's gonna do is it's gonna take these assets that are hidden behind there, and whenever we get into this slide, it's just gonna animate them out. So here, whenever I do magic move, we'll do it for like one second, make sure fade unmatched objects is checked. Whenever I do that preview, ta-da, you can see how they slide out. But that's all that we're doing is we're using that because you know X on, on a three-dimensional axis, X is right and left, Y is up and down, Z is back in space. So it's just the way that we layer these to make sure that this one, is always all the way in the front. Now then, what the order of the other two are don't really matter as much, but that's the thing that we're gonna do. So now whenever I play this again, we can see, again, those two are still there, they're just peeking out. So let's change this over. So I basically took what they did, I went out and just got any iPhone mock-up, it was just a free mock-up, you can get on a ton of different sites. I used my, like the web version of my website, just again, so I have my own assets, but that's the same thing. So now what we can do is we have this title, 
And you, again, you can see those are hiding back there. But instead, what I'm going to do is let those slide out. And now again, we get that exact effect. And here again, that's all that we're doing is that behind this, the two other phones are hiding. And just by stacking them in that order, then we get what that effect is. So it, this literally is, so here, let's get rid of all of this. Get rid of that. It's just literally four assets, two slides. So here, pull this apart. We've got all those that are there. Put Humpty Dumpty back together again. In here, we have these three assets just flipped out and the title is gone. So that way, this right here is gonna fade out. The two that are behind are gonna slide out. And all that we're doing is using this under animate, transition, magic move. Make sure we have checked, fade unmatched objects checked. And then whenever we do that, this is what it is we're gonna get. It's literally that simple. So here again, this is all that they're doing and you get a very sophisticated looking effect, but that's all they're doing. Now, if you wanna get really sort of fancy about it, you could theoretically put like a drop shadow edge in a PNG or something right there if you want to. So whenever that slides out, we get a little bit more separation. Actually here, you know what, let's cheat it. Let's, you know what, we don't even need to do that. Let's just go in, let's be able to create a color fill, change this to gradient, black, helps when it's black, and another black, change that. We're gonna drop the opacity to zero. Now we have a gradient that we can actually use. Let's rotate it sideways because what I wanna be able to do is just have a touch more separation so that whenever these fade, it makes it looks like it has a little bit more depth. Let's try that again and see if that worked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch right along here whenever we hit that animation to be able to do that. So now, nope, got the layer order wrong. So we need to make sure this is all the way in the back. So that should be working, or did I just not miss it? Oh, I know why, because I'm not thinking, because it needs to be on this as well. If not, then it doesn't work. Think through it, Steve. See, this is the thing. These are the learning things that you wanna be able to do. So again, if we watch right there, we should see the shadow now whenever we play it, back it up, ha ha. So see, now whenever we watch right there, we can see that there's a shadow, so it feels like there's just a little bit more separation there. Now, obviously, we need to change the height a little bit because it's not quite perfect. So let's make it just a little bit deeper. Copy, make sure it matches on this one. Bring this phone back to the front. Bring this phone back to the front. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because if I don't do this, then this kind of curved piece right here if I just bring it straight up, there's gonna be a weird notch. So this is gonna be full color, then it's gonna fade. But if I do it this way now, and again, we'll watch right there to look how it looks. See, look how nice and clean and sexy that is. So again, right there, see, I get that nice drop shadow. So it has just that little bit more sense of depth. So again, you can keep playing with these for forever, but that's all that it is that we're doing here is just being able to do that. Cause you can see if we look at this side and watch that, see how it doesn't feel quite as real because there's not a shadow. If you look at this side, that side feels a little bit more real. But it's just that simple. Like I said, four assets, two slides, one magic move, and you've got the whole thing done. So hopefully that explained it to you and you can see just how simple it is to get that sort of sophisticated of an effect. Well, as with Keynote, once you understand how to do something, the complicated hopefully becomes a lot simpler. And that just simply understanding that stacking and using the Z depth well, we'll let you be able to understand how just because it looks particularly in one slide doesn't mean that's showing everything that's actually going on. And look, if you like this, be able to make sure you check out. I've got other advanced animation videos, other tutorials to be able to show you a lot of other tips and tricks with Keynote, just like this one that are going to be really helpful. Now, as always, I'm going to be releasing more of these videos. So do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so that YouTube will let you know whenever more of this stuff comes out. And just like with this video, Look, if there is something that you're trying to figure out, how to design, how to do, leave a comment, reach out. Like, let me know what it is you're trying to do. You, who knows, maybe this will actually be, I'll create a video for you showing you how they did something. But I love to be able to do this sort of stuff, engage with you guys and help you out any way I can. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully you learned something. And as always, stay crazy.